up until now, we haven't explored what happens if you connect actually you know, the black faces of tetragents together. Um, it will actually make it more difficult to fill space, but it does lead to some interesting artistic expressions. If I divide these in, in half, these now can be joined together. make this star pattern. Now this angle here is not quite 72 degrees it's actually about 70.7 .7, but it's just enough that um, the magnets can give a little and um, I'll, I'll show you a few examples of uh, what patterns can be put together with uh, just tetrahedral modules. In this case I can take out a number of tetramodules around the vertices and if we join these black faces together, we need another one. Make another kind of shape of a pentagon. Again, only because it approximates 72 degrees in here. Now I'll take off the cluster around the edges of the tetrahedron. This makes these kind of sub-modules. And we'll join the black sides together. Just a little bit of, like a line. Again, you notice there's a little bit of a gap there. You know, these can be separated. Again, approximates the pent pentagon. And then these can be joined to almost make a dodecahedron, but you can see a little bit of wobble. But it does allow many other patterns to be created if you're not really concerned about filling space. And now I'll take some of the faces of a tetrahedron and join them together and make several more of these subcomponents. See if we can join them together. And somewhat of a star pattern. You can see there's a little bit of a gap here, as expected. And these can also be joined in another configuration. Right, now I'll demonstrate some shapes that were created from just the octomodules. You know, simple submodules just connecting two faces together. These can just also be arranged now to create this interesting shape. Again, no gaps at this point, but you can see if I continued. I couldn't fill space with this shape. Now I'll try to take out the vertice sections of the. Now, if I try to connect the white spaces together, again you start introducing gaps that don't really lead to anywhere. So you can just reconstruct the octahedron. Put the octahedron in half and see what we can do with these submodules. We'll try arranging them this way. You can see an interesting pattern, but there is a gap here. So if we take these apart and try to arrange them in this pattern. 
you do get a star pattern only because this angle here is almost 72 degrees and the magnetic coupling is somewhat forgiving. Now let's try to flip these back, see what happens. this interesting shape. Now I'm going to take some half octahedrons, see what I can do with 20 of these together. This comes together to make this pentagonal shape. Now I'll take the shape we saw earlier, constructed from half tetrahedrons, and then I'll take the other side. It makes this interesting shape. Now let me try something a little different. First I'll divide up the tetrahedron into two. Then I'm going to split that again into quarters. Join the black sides together to make this shape. I'm going to divide a half of octahedron into half. Divide it once again in half and then connect the white pieces together and then join them. We come up with a shape, kind of a pie shape like this. Now if we add a few more of these together, you get that similar star pattern we saw earlier. On the flip side, we see the pentagon shape from the octahedron.